GIA Automotive 1996 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Um, this guy had an EVAP code on his car today, and I scanned it with my scanner. I got a P0334 code, and I noticed other things with this car, and um, I took care of them. So right now he has power steering leak I'm gonna pinpoint that and see um, what else I uh, notice under there I put a new gas cap on and I put two new um, battery terminals on it make sure it's getting uh, right contact he had them rigged up where where they were questionable and anytime you're doing electrical work you want to make sure you got good contact on the battery number one basic 101 mechanic tips just make sure you got a solid connection here like it is now he had he had um these two wires and this wire on one and just on, on, he didn't have this metal part. He was missing this metal part. This is the one for that one. And for this one, he didn't have that. So he just, he just um, connected it here to this one. And I told him, let's do it the right way and make sure that that's getting the proper um, voltage coming out of this positive um, post. And not only that, but when he kept turning here, this this was completely shut and it wasn't tightening up anymore so he wedged this in between he wedged this inside to make it tighter I said let's say let's just change that make it make it the right way um, here's another uh, trick I'm gonna show you guys real quick the shock absorbers on this hood don't hold up anymore so you can wedge a stick and hold it up a broomstick, a shovel stick, whatever you want to hold it up with from here to the bottom here. Or you can do what I just did. Put some vice grips on there, bite them down, make sure it's on there tight, and be done with that. Um, It's a sharp little ride here. It's not in perfect shape, obviously, but you don't see too many of these left on the road. Um, I'm going to change out this wiper here. I think this wiper has to be, it comes off. It needs to be the whole assembly, not just the, the blade. They sent me just the blade. So, um... Where's the OBD port on this one? Let's look at it together. Okay, OBD port on this one is on the right side of the steering wheel, right past the dashboard here. Okay, felt that plug up. It's not. What is this?
Okay, I felt it again. What the heck's going on here? Turn these lights off. Maybe that has something to do with it. But this is not powering up now. It was earlier. <sighs> Let me see here. Let me back up. Hard to get out of this car. Put your foot out. And your legs already touching the ground. You got to push off the ground to get out. Um, Probably blew a fuse. Probably blew a fuse. So it's connected, but it's not powering up. So what's going on here? What's going on is that it blew a fuse. Looks like you need some coolant. Check engine light. No oil pressure, that's not good at all. That gauge doesn't work. <laughs> Service engine lights back on over here. Check these fuses, I'll be right back. <laughs> 